what's up, everyone? Welcome back to more Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. Last time we left off, we finished Chapter 1, and now we're going to get into Chapter 2. I'm kind of afraid of how long this is going to be, because I remember in uh, one of the first Phoenix Wright game, I was like, man, okay. As long as we draw breath, the wheel of fate turns. Oof. Was that Phoenix? That looks to be Trucy. I don't know who that is. Spinning big crimes and little crimes together. And when the wheel stops... Whoa. That's a 3D animated cutscene. You die. These are cool, but like I have no idea what's going on until like the end of the trial. <laughs> oh, I'm at- Oh. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. My first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it, I was screwed. But even when I hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. Oh. Oh. Here being the legendary Wright and Cole offices. Okay, Justice, time to stop trembling. Ah, you must be here for the interview, right this way. Huh? Yeah. Hello there, you found the right place. Welcome. Uh, uh, what's with this girl? <laughs> Do you not remember her? <laughs> well now, shall we begin? Begin what? Right, first things first. Any special talents? Uh, talents? Yes, well, you must have at least one. Well, uh, I guess... Defending? <laughs> defending? An unusual talent, but it'll do. Oh, <laughs> oh, she putting like a uh, magician's act together or something? Like, multiple, multiple acts in a magic show or something? Or maybe not, I don't know. With a little jazzing up, of course. Y you think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh? Go ahead, show me, defend! Just give it all you got. Don't hold back now. <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't just defend here. First lesson, professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. We want people to be laughing with us, not at us. Oh, is she, oh, is she putting a circus act together? Is that what it is? Were you inspired by the Barry Big Circus? <laughs> Which everyone hated apparently, and I'm like the only person who liked that case. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. <laughs> what? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Uh, defend, no? Excuse me, but you know where you are. Huh? The right and cold offices, right? Oh, I was afraid of that. Uh, don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. Perhaps you should go read the sign out front again. What's there to read? Look, it says right there. Oh. Why does it say right talent agency? Welcome to the right talent agency, where you've always come to the right place. I'm Trucy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. It all came flooding back. The trial, that girl, and the fake evidence. <laughs> Hello, sir. Please pick a card. Or die. Ooh, that's pixely. <laughs> Trucy, right. Here, check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo, Apollo Justice, attorney at law. So, uh, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Daddy started it seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people, does that include you? Trucy, right, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows, paid too. I'm a professional, you know? Uh, right. <laughs> Promise you'll come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is... Phoenix Wright, pianist extra extraordinaire. Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he couldn't play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, Trucy, you're already... I'm already loving you. So this, so you're his, uh, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right. After Daddy quit law seven years ago, I promised I would keep him fed. So I'm kind of his... <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in charge of this whole office, too. 
pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? 15? Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, he's 33 this year. I'm sure there's a good explanation. I hope. <laughs> uh, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Eh? You know about that? Not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get the chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me. About Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. The hospital? Yeah, he's on strict bed rest until he gets better. Wh what? Okay. Oh, okay. Which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right, well, uh, I'll be going, and I'll, uh, give the showbiz gig some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, like, <laughs> you're not gonna see your dad? Oh my god, he has the mini piano. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of books. So this is Mr. Wright's hospital. Oh god dang it. Yeah, it was a boy. It was a stitch force. Uh huh, it's fun. Uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Uh, Dr. Hitfield's the name. <laughs> I don't know why I gave him that voice, but. Good morning, doctor. Is this dad's room? Oh, yeah. Something's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. Doug, dear, the nurse was looking for you. That's what we have then. Why are you still alive? <laughs> wow, that was an odd bird that guy was. Good morning. Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I punched you. I, I, uh, I, I didn't mean... Well, I'm just sorry I punched you. <laughs> so, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, victim of a hit and run. Oh, snap. A hit and... You were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. You hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. He really is as lucky as they say. <laughs> uh, there's something that, well, just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Wright. And... She's so big. Not fat, but, uh, you know what I mean. Ugh, Trucy's still a child. How many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you're not. Ah, <laughs> uh, my foot. I'm not buying it. Oh, something you should know about Trucy. She's a magician, right? She told me. None of your stage magician. She's a genius. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You can just tell me things instead of insinuating them. <laughs> That's not how we roll in the lawyer business. <laughs> so, why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Huh? Didn't you come in the office of your own free will anyways? Well, yeah, of course. Help, we're in big trouble here at the office. Big! I thought someone was dying. So you don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency rep represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. That's right. How are we gonna pay this month's rent and the groceries? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a, sim it's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us fails, the other two must fail. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid. How old are you supposed to be, Paulo? You can't be much older than like 18. You look pretty young. You're like what? 20-ish at most, like early 20s. In any case, if Apollo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school again. No, I can't. I only just made friends. How could you do this to me? To us, Polly? Huh? What? Now it's my fault? <laughs> On that note, how about you come work for us? We got the perfect client for you already lined up. Uh, a client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? <laughs> All right. I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Daddy. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> now it's time to reel him in. It's official. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I love this sense of humor. This game, it... It just puts a smile on my face, man. Alright, so who's the client? Ah, uh, yes. Here, take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. 
I was going to that Indochine in, in Pasta Joint, Al Dente's. I pay, I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. The car sent me flying, nicked a telephone pole, and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's, al it's almost as creepy. To he it's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. The car spit off in this direction. So, good luck. Huh? You want a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Whoa, hold on. I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Ah, oh, don't worry. Once you found the guy, I intend to sue him. Then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? Oh, sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know? Even the ones that aren't very funny. Your real client should be stopping by the office any time now. The office? You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. Do look into my accident, too, would you? Uh, I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. Do I have any, uh... Thing besides my... Nope. <laughs> so, he's gonna make me investigate this after all. Ah, whatever. Alright, well, I guess we'll go see if the client's there. Uh, hello? Yes, I'm here for the right talent agency. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. How long do you plan on making me wait, eh? Ah, good morning. Not the voice hit. Hey there, Trucy doll. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? Sorry, my nose is getting super stuffed up. I'm not sick besides my nose being stuffed up, so these voices aren't what they should be, but they're the best I can do at the moment. Ah, uh, well, all's well that ends well, I guess. This is our client. Hey, so this is that Paula fellow, eh? Oh, uh, yes, the name's Apollo. Look at me, arms all crossed, like, ready to fight. Yes, sir. Y you don't mean that literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down, Paulo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I am on it. Defense? You didn't do the laugh cooked. It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. N noodle? You know, Mr. Ald you know Mr. Aldoon from the noodle stand. Oh, it's Noodle backwards. Ha 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 Don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know them. You new in these parts? Not really. Then you know the best noodles in town, Elton's Noodles. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a thing you can read backwards the same as you can forwards. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles. Uh, help me out here, Trucy doll. This is Mr. Guy Eldoon. Noodle Yug? <laughs> or Gee, actually. Gee Aldoon. Noodle League. I don't know. <laughs> Our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. Aldoon. Are you playing harmonica right now? Oh, you are? Okay. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I thought that was like. I don't know what that is. Anything for you, Trucy Doll. I don't know. I feel like this kind of voice works. It doesn't really fit in what he does, but oh, uh, whatever. So, you run a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon. Gee Eldoon's the name, and noodles are my game. The secret's in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Oh, that's, uh, not that long, really. My family's been noodle men for generations. Got a lot of expectation on my shoulders. Fifteen fathers passing the noodles to fifteen sons. That's a pretty old noodle. <laughs> Aye, and the fool I was pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. But that didn't turn out so well. Oh? Huh? There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. So it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I, f I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Not a mental image I care to linger on. <laughs> so last year, I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Elton's Noodles. Ooh, I like this song. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, never mind. 
went to the minor. Come on. <laughs> uh, so tell me about Elden's noodles. You don't know the genius that are my noodles? I make them so salty. Why? They're saltier than salt. Now I really don't want to find out. Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. He frequented my pop stand back during his attorney days too. Yep, him and his assistant. I'm sorry, I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. I don't remember him going to this place very much. Was this a place that was opened up in, uh, at the end of Phoenix Wright 1 or something? No, there was a restaurant opened up then. Was it Trey Bien? And I didn't even notice it? Oh, I should, I should go back and check. Wish you could, Sonny. Eh? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bull about now. What do you mean? It was stolen! My stand! Gone! Stolen? It was last night. I was doing my rounds, blowing my whistle. I guess it's just a whistle. It kind of sounds like a harmonica. It's like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He even gets complaints. <laughs> now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I closed up my stand for that, parked by the house. Then, this morning, dark and early, it was gone. My keep, my castle, Ooh. Maybe some bum carted it, um, maybe some bum carted it off? Ah, uh, just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> you know it. Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good, huh? W wait, what exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty, two bulls kill a man. Then I'd really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. You drop by if you need the info, okay? Get it back today if you can, Paulo. Got noodles to make. Things are certainly taking a turn for the bizarre. Traffic accidents and noodle stand thieves? Uh, actually... There was something I wanted to ask you about too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, uh, listen to the lady's problems now. Don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skullduggery? Well, uh, someone stole a pair. Oh. Ah, uh, <laughs> right. It's crying shame, that is. I was alone in the office last night. Steve came by and took them. Ran after him. Give those back, I shouted. Wait. Well, that was certainly brave of you. <laughs> but I lost him. I don't know what I'll do. Don crying shame. Yep. At least the scene of the crime is convenient. I'll mark it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand or this is an empty bowl in your future, Paulo. Uh, right. Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday and now we have three cases. I, I guess. <laughs> Let's see where we stand. Not in the courtroom, that's where. <laughs> Well, the first item on our list, Phoenix Wright, Daddy's hit and run accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's going to pay us? Who's gonna pay us for this again? <laughs> and the second item, Mr. Eldoon's request to find his stolen stand, for which we stand to gain a bowl of salty noodles. And the last quest is mine. <laughs> that my bowl of noodles is looking better and better. Let's go, Polly, to the streets. Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me! <sighs> Just might as well get started. Let's see, a hidden run, a stolen stand. Last but not least. Alright. Uh. Accident scene. Oh, okay. Well. We're gonna find there's like a murder connected to all three of these. So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. It was like Chinatown. Apollo, there's a nice lady over there. Let's qu let's question her. Uh, okay. 
I'm a little curious about the park over there, too. Oh, good lord, what is that? Excuse me, uh, can we have a few words with you? <sighs> you want something? <laughs> oh, what? Whoa, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you got there. You must have a lot of money. Ooh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. This is the Kotaki family mansion, little girl. <laughs> you, keep with the hair. You want something? Uh, m me? No, not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But the Kotaki family... They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. You're going to ask something, ask it. If you're man enough. Ah, right. Yay, way to weapon a shape, ma'am. Does she know fear? <laughs> she know no fear? I'm Plum, Plum Kentucky. Wife of the fourth head of the Kentucky family business. Friends call me Little Plum. I'm L Little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Mm -hmm. If looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. Ah, uh, this is actually kind of scary. <laughs> Little Plum? That's a really cute name for someone, so... Yes. Whoa! <laughs> what is it, Apollo? How would you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh? That seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless pr procedures. Oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. Gangst? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trucy, through me, please. I'm begging you here. <laughs> the bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to, perfect, to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. I feel like I've seen this sprite before and it's weirding me out. What? Where have I seen this? I know that sprite of the blowing the hair. Like, what? I don't know why I know this. I haven't played this game before. Unless I secretly did when I was like four. I don't know. So you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business, we can help it, please. <laughs> there was a car accident here last night. Last night? Uh, of course you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you. Wait. Y yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away? That's my daddy. <laughs> I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point. Capo? Pointman? Uh, could you avoid you using too many or too much uh, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since this morning. Ah. Cleaning up this paint? Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise and found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You, my husband, the boss, to thank for that. The car that did your father knocked over this paint, then turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our walls, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any, like, goons to do your dirty work for you? Please, go through me when you wanna- <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. Suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Uh, yes. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you see? The boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself on the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just the paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? There is something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just not gonna say hi then. Uh, let's look at this trash can real quick. There's a big trash can on the way into the park. I guess we could check it out. The detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm gonna turn it, huh? Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. 
Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Wait, you don't think? I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, he took off his mirror? I never knew Daddy was so strong. I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Uh, which do you want to take? Uh, mirror, I'd say. Can you tell me anything about this mirror? It's probably from the car that knocked that fellow across the street. Right, that makes this a valuable clue. Let me know if you find that car, would you? If you splash talk paint, you pay the price. Ah, uh, why? Okay, well I guess we're not getting anything here. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, uh, what's this place? This would be Mr. Aldoon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where a stand was stolen from. You can see the piece of evidence lying on the floor already. Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with this sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? There's a, si there's a sign. Merikit's Clinic. Merikit's Mer 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 Clinic? Clinic? Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? The one who's that? He ran to this clinic last night. Wait, maybe the police car. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Oh, I already... Ah, oh, there you are, Sonny. Yeah, it's that type of voice. Well, you find anything yet? Uh, um, no, n not yet. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier victory bowl gets. Remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment, more like punishment. So you stand, Eldoon's noodles, was it? Hey, passed down from the father to son. That stand seen to share the f seen to share salt. Mm -hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet his high blood pressure does too. So, your stand, Elden Noodles, was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, Sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt crust stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyways? Are there any more details you can give me about the stand? You bet, Sonny boy, it happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for that late night market. <laughs> I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Did that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I washed up on the salty shores of ruination. That stand had my whole life in it. Nah, my whole being. You took everything? All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look, they're on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets, peddling that bowl, my last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. <laughs> That's it. That's where the thief... Thief went. It's a crime shame, isn't it? They have to steal. The garage, right. You don't think the thief lives here, do you? Huh! <laughs> I wouldn't put it past that good for nothing doctor. Hmm. Do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Hello? Oh, there's a skeleton in here. Oh, that's the car. Oh, it's all connected to this one place. This is the place. This is where he ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Cl <laughs> clues. Clues. <laughs> uh, Trucy, could you try not saying that so many times? Uh. I don't know. 
Something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Is that a phone? Okay, well first off, I think they're in here. That reminds me. Once we're in a record of a case that Mr. Wright- Oh, you're right, he did, uh, uh, what case, what case was it? It was, uh, I think it was the first case of Justice for All many years ago. Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved in the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. I always check the tailpipe. Everyone kind of have a hobby, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey, there's something in there. What? Wait a second. Are these your... What? Already? Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really. Don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. Um, what are those? Come home to Mama. I can't wait to use them. You're gonna put them on? Now? Watch closely now. See? Ta-da! Whoa! Where'd that come from? How the bowl? Extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. They're my magic. <laughs> it's one of my best tricks. I love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean they're a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. <laughs> Wait, what did that say? <laughs> I didn't read that. Aw, oh, shoot. Well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of the with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. <laughs> well, what was there? Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Yeah, I know. I think I didn't see the phone. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. The car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Uh, ah, and there it is. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What, you're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue, let's see. Oh, I don't have it. Then you do have just the clue you've got in mind. Except I don't, because I forgot it. <laughs> even... Looks like there's some trouble in the by the park gate. I smell an incident. Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. I don't tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walk through this park on my way home. Please get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's quite the determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss, stay out of the park. He got mad at me. Uh, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Oh, uh, no, move along, nothing to see. Why don't your kids go play somewhere else? We're not kids and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> no way, oh. Is that Emma? Something wrong here? Ah, uh, Tech of Sky. We'll find, ma'am. Nothing to report. It is! Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, uh, why don't you kids run along and play somewhere else? Look, we're not. Why might I spill something on that pretty face of yours? Want a dose of experimental hydrox... Hydroxyacellinostris? Oh. I don't want to say that right now, but... Come again? <laughs> What's hydroxy... stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out of the riffraff, would you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, how am I gonna get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yes, that nice woman. Ooh. All right, well I actually just came to get the slipper, but I guess if we're talking about this now, then may as well. Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning is the boss would say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire, someone was killed. Strange circumstances too. You're kidding. What a morning. 
Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house too? Crime with no honor, without remorse. It's a private matter. Wanna hear about it? <laughs> Somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. So what happened at your house? Lumos, last night? Eh, I got a bad feeling about this. Me, Little Plum Kentucky, the victim. What? So it wasn't just me that was stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? N no, of course not. Mercy! Heard word that everybody's been disappearing lately. And they all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy and Miss Kataki is having so much in common. Imagine Miss Kataki. <laughs> I, I, I just imagine Miss Kataki's. I know, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you got me into this time, Trucy? <laughs> Oh, hello. That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, uh, hello, mother. She's a Kentucky too? Um, um, miss, miss? Here, our flyer. The right anything agency? A anything agency? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, uh, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Great first impression. Why did you give her a flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to... <laughs> She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> She's gonna come by later, isn't she? How do you get this read for people? My clue is this! Whoa! It's the same color and size and everything! A perfect match! I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't this go on a car? The side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Well, looks like we just solved the case. It's so the car that hit Daddy last night. He's sitting right in front of us. Yep. Wow, you put the pro and professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo! Huh? What is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Uh, okay. He doesn't seem the type to mope, though. This is hardly a case worth reporting. <laughs> How do I get to Mr. Wright? Oh, I have to go to the Anything Agency. Huh? Mr. Wright's gone. Maybe he's gone for an examination? He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Danny always loves his examinations. Don't ask, Justice. You don't want to know. <laughs> Why don't we come back later? Yeah, I guess you're right. Is this yours, Mr. Aldoon? Hey, that is the hot and soul of all noodles. That bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon it's going to taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. Oh, my other bowls got taken away from my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy, I'm begging you. Oh, okay, cool. Found out who this mirror belongs to. Ooh, you're tougher than you look. Spit it out, who was it? Oh, crap. Where do they live? Uh, I, I just forgot. <laughs> I remember Apollo. He was the, he was the, I don't know why I can't say his name. Miractus Clinic. Shh! Why? I'm right, aren't I? Miractus, eh? Um, yes. Why is she so quiet all of a sudden? Is something wrong? Uh, no. Baby, no mind. And, uh, thanks for the info. Uh-oh. Oh, there's more to the story than she's letting on, isn't there? I understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Oh, sorry, miss. No going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, no. Nothing to see here. Move along. I'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look the right age to be playing doctor? I need a little more info on, on this Maractus clinic. You can ask Mr. Aldoon. He's their neighbor and all. We should check out that garage. Oh. 
Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. <laughs> Probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. Anyone's at risk giving somebody food poisoning. That police car got here this morning, actually. That's what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor. Phew. Hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time. I forgot what was coming to him. <laughs> the wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Ah, oh, here we go. Good lord. Little Plum's not here. She just, she not finished cleaning, huh? Maybe she went to get a paint scraper? Okay, who's the wild guy who spit gum out on the street? Her voice carries all, her voice carries all the way. Oh my god. From inside the mansion. I can't get Apollo's voice right right now. She's a neat freak. How cute. You there. It was you, wasn't it? Fess up. Hope you've said your prayers. You're gonna need them. Trucy, let's leave. Now. <laughs> Unless... Nope, nothing new. Maybe... He'll be back by now? Oh, thank God. God, that was like 10 minutes with... Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let's old daddy get some well-deserved R&R. &R. The, elder the elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Uh, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent, capable. Tell me what you found out, if you want it. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing! Almost like he, he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? You find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the... From the Maratic... Maratis... Maractis... Uh, I can't say it! Clinic. Hmm. Maractis, huh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me. Police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? What is this Maractis clinic, anyway? Well, I've heard of the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. Uh, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They use the Maractus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. It looked like something had happened in that park. Ah, uh, a body was found there in an in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find the noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to the Mirac to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Uh, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your accident and uh, found a missing article of clothing. That leaves you the noodle stand. Huh? Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. Huh? Goodbye, quid pro quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. Right, back to the office to plan our next move. Alright, well... Oh, she did come. You're the one from the Kataki place. Y yes I knew it. Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you come to the right place. This way, please. Uh, thank you. My name is Alida Tiala. Oh, it's... Is their entire family, um... Based on that, where, uh, you can read it the same backwards as you can forward? Or this entire case? What's her name? Well, you can't do Kataki, but... Her name is that. Oh, come on, we just... Yeah, it's the same. Attila, right? Or Alita. Oh, I don't know. I have a request. Really? Your request. Let me guess. Something's been stolen. Um, your flyer. It says, now defending. So I thought... What? You mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened? Were you hit by a car? 
Someone see your stand? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? So what's your story? You frequent the Kotaki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, uh, organization? No, not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a, uh, a gangster? Yes, but the Kotakis are locally responsible gangsters. Thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job. Live the good gangster life. I think you're on to something. Miss Kotaki. I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. <laughs> What happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know a body was found in the park, near the Kotaki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars over there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol, but I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Uh, what sort of person is your fiancé? Your fiancé is the K Kotaki family's only son, right? His name is Waki. Waki Kotaki. <laughs> Oh, walkie-talkie, ha <laughs> ha I think. Walkie-talkie? Yeah, I think so? I don't know. I brought a photo. Huh. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be so powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son, yes, I'm sure I'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solo of defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Cool. Right, let's go check on the scene of the crime. Thank you. Do you want to join our agency at the time? We, uh, we need some help. Ooh, the new detention center, boys! Oh, it's the first time we've been here. Polly, you look as happy as a clam in its shell. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Ahem. <clears throat> you, uh, need something? Ah, uh, yes. We're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Walkie Kataki. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could take a while. Drat. Oh, well. Guess we'll have to come back later, then. So much for that battle. <laughs> well, that sucked. He's not there. It's not my fault. Oh. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh. What is a hit request on it? Shell must use the... The Kotaki stationery. Excuse me, ka... Whoa. What? 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 Excuse me, coming through. Oh, it's, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? Well, same, used to be inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. Mr. Gavin? Are you his brother or something? Like his twin brother? Wait, are they gonna pull some twist at the. Wait, wait. Are they gonna pull some twist that like Phoenix thought he knew Gavin, but it was actually this dude? Ah, Fraulein. What is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Yes. This policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, r really? By your leave, officer. Y yes, sir. Of course, sir. <laughs> Very well. This way, Fraulein. Whee! <laughs> hey, what about me? I'm the lawyer of this case, god dang! On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. We will, will we see you again? That's the win, Fraulein. I'll be riding on it. Who was that? Eek! Apollo, look! A corpse! What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. 
Wow, sure got me. Ahem, <laughs> when I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Yeah, I knew it. Oh, it's you. How'd you kids get in here? Oh, this guy. Well, he was... This guy? Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again? <sighs> Glimmerous fop, always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene is off limits. Excuse me? We have a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big m magnifying glass? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. Took you 30 minutes to figure that out? So, uh, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the crime... Preserving the crime... The scene of the crime as, as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She didn't seem that happy about it. She didn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Well, isn't somebody nice? Uh, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. <laughs> We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. Ugh, never seen me have a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? An ex-defense attorney. Oh! Oh! Wait. This is the noodle stand. How did I not notice that? I must have crime scene. But, but we need to investigate. Apollo, look! That stand! It says... It says, oh, Dune! I've noticed. Well, we've solved the case in the missing stand, at least. Though, the circumstances could stand to be better. Oh, Mr. Old Dune! Hello? Looks like he left. We found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like I'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Oh, what a bummer. God dang it, is he gone again? Huh. Uh, you're back. Run into some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who? Me? No, I'm fine. Really? What's this? So there is a problem. No, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me. Oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose. I know it. So, what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime! Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene! What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyways? A lab coat? Hmm, didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about ten years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. I make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh, wait. Maybe you know that other guy, too. That other guy? Shining Prince on the motorcycle! Prince? Mysterious Prince. Apollo, tell me about this Prince of Trucy's. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. His brother? Or acquaintances, after a fashion. Clavier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Clavier. What a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. God dang it! I can't get out of the Phoenix voice. <laughs> what was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'd be crossing paths again soon. What was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, the detective woman won't let us. 
Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a, white, a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to the detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. I don't think she's gonna be very happy, but I mean, okay. Uh, a white bottle? Oh, the top hat, my bad. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa! Oh, it's fingerprints. You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. <laughs> Let's go talk to that detective. She's sure to know what that white pap Excuse me, is. It's, uh, the fingerprint stuff. Oh, God. Oh, I have to do that again. I hate this. Uh, document. Alright. Um, um, does this ring any bells? Ah, is that? It couldn't. Where'd you get that? Brought it from the office. You work at the Wright & Cole offices, yes? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Skye, how do you know my daddy? D -d daddy I I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Phoenix Wright is a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter, you're his apprentice, and I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by calling, by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder memories. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Uh... Oh wait, can I talk to her now? Ah, here we go. The report came in late last night. The body was found as much as you, s much as you see it now, except it was a real body. But why? Why was the body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Paul Maractis. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. I mean, really, what's up with this case? Time of death, June 14. After 10 p.m., cause of death, single bullet to the right temple. Uh, 46, 10, 15, 10, 45, uh, damage to the brain, right temple. It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... Uh, who's the old guy? This is the proprietor. The, the, oh my God! Proprietor of Elden Noodles, M Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Nice. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor. I'm starting to see a connection here. Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky, hmm? I was out of the country for a while. Came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, were you studying abroad? Uh, something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. When I got back here, they threw me into criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... A lot of favors to repay to people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in a incident before I left. The Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. She's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kotaki family, yes? Waki Kataki. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently, in the detention center. I see. 
Why was he arrested in the first place? You're a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his, by any chance. Uh, actually, yes I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Uh, well, let's see. Apparently he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Ractus Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the cop car was parked there? What? You been in the clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. Told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see, so that means Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here? Now it seemed to be the case. That seemed to be the case, that was me talking, sorry. But why? Don't ask me! Gotta be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? L look! Another pair of... Oh my god. Wow, Apollo! You're a genius at finding these! Stop saying that. Wait, these aren't... They're not mine! Could these have been stolen too? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I, okay, I looked it up because I was like, what am I doing wrong? I don't know how I didn't notice the knife stuck right there. It's a knife. A shiv, to be precise. Ooh, lingo. Defendant, Waka Kataki is the son of known gangsters. Police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Huh? Look at this. There's a handprint on the shiv. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. I can I can do this myself. Right, first, choose the fingerprints you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. See? There's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. I guess, uh, that one? It's the most... Ah, it's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some of the aluminum powder over the print. Just touch the screen like this, see? The oil by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on and blow it off. Blow? It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Put your lips together. Wow, amazing! It's like magic. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Alright, let's give it a shot. Stanley, it's important you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Okay, there we go. Next, to match the print, the police officer the samples, and you can tell whose fingerprint this belongs to. Mm, it's not as much fun as actually finding the print. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. Probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. It is, god dang it. Yep. Match found. So, the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, uh, the power of science. It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. <laughs> Look sharp, spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. <laughs> So, have you met the defendant? Uh, uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it, is, what good it will do, but we have a witness and a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Don't worry, it's like our right tradition. <laughs> Some traditions I can live without. <laughs> well. Attention center. Are you here? Oh, I don't know what voice I'm gonna give you. Crap. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. B but we still have three minutes! I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. 
The father? You mean like a priest? I mean the suspect's father, Miss Winford Big Wins Kataki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you! You're the one on your... You're the one on, their, on your way out, old... Ah, they're here. Oh, God. Whoa, this guy radiates power. Power. The cute apron? You walk these lures? Y yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kentucky, fourth head of the Kentucky family, capiche? Uh, actually, I came to speak to your son. Mr. Justice. Yes? My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Y yes, I'm all about capiching. Capiche loud and clear. You gotta do more than just understand and make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? Oh. You can't treat me like a kid no more. Not now. You know, I... I... This is literally Naruto. Like... I wanted to go to the clink. I like... I like it here. You must be Waki. A G's not a G till he does a hard time, bizoy. What? You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wings all this time, old man. You heard me. I don't need no trial. I did it. I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. I can't think of any good voices right now, but... So much for talking to our client. Boy, we made so much progress today. I had fun, at least. Of course. The biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. Okay, well, I got nothing else to do, so I'll probably do that. Ooh, alright, well, clocking in at an hour and 30 minutes. We're gonna end this episode here for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Stick around to see more of this awesome, awesome game, as well as Spider-Man, which will go up tomorrow and then this the day after. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace out!